Hi, everybody. It's Countdown to the Collections, New York Luxury Bridal Fashion Week. I'm so excited that I'm meeting with Israeli designer Dana Harrell. How are you, Dana? Hi, how are you? Great. It's so how great to see you. It's so exciting. Um, so those yeah. who aren't so familiar with your brand, which is so stunning, um, all your dresses, I just, I'm a big fan. Tell me a bit <laughs> about your background. Okay, so I'll tell you first that I am 40 years old. I am a mother of three uh, children, two boys, one girl. I'm married to a uh, very nice, uh, to my <laughs> very nice husband, <laughs> who is a magician, by the way. We both have like creative uh, occupations. I love uh, a magician. That's great. It's like a uh, kind of, if he would hear I call him magician, he would uh, be upset. He's like kind of like uh, doing mind reading, like David Blaine kind of genre. I love yes, that. Yes, he's famous here. Uh, and uh, I have a degree in uh, fashion design. And I also have a degree in uh, psychology, which I did before the fashion uh, degree. Uh, I have my bridal line for uh, I have the, the the brand itself exists for 11 years I, I started with uh, evening wear and then seven years ago I started my uh, bridal collections and since then I'm doing only bridal I love it that's great and that I was has... aware that you had that your studio is underground tell me about that Yes, it's uh, it's uh, underground. It's uh, basically like designed like a spiral. I don't know if I can show it to you. I can't show it to you at the moment, but it's kind of like there is a very nice uh, big staircase that goes like in a circle. And then you go in, it looks like kind of a, like a womb, something like that, very like feminine, intimate. Uh, uh, I, I really loved this space when I saw it at first, even though it's underground, it felt like very secure for the experience that brides uh, uh, experience he here with their families and like uh, for their special moment. So uh, yeah, we work underground, even though we're moving uh, like in a month because okay. um, we're ending. And we're going to move to like uh, upper floors Above in a different ground. place. <laughs> and yeah. You're, you're, in, you're in Tel Aviv. We're in Tel Aviv, yes. Tel Aviv. And describe the aesthetic of your vision. And what's, what's your vision for the brand? Yeah, so I think the common thing that uh, I can uh, say about my aesthetics and like something that always happen in my collections is that uh, I always try to create like very laid back glam looks. I uh, always try to balance between very like elaborated rich fabrics, uh, materials, fabrics that I most of the time created by myself and designed by myself that are custom made for my brand and and I balance it with like laid back uh, silhouettes uh, I'm very uh, inspired by the, the 20s like eras like that uh, I like like very feminine looks however not too like in your face sexy I believe that uh sexy can be also uh, shown like in a modest way there are like more interpretations of uh sexiness in my brand absolutely uh, that's what it is it's it I I love how you're describing it because it does look effortless and glamorous and understated sexy which is understood it's sexy yeah. exactly because there's lots as you say lots of different <laughs> variations of sexy um yeah do you, have, do you have special techniques that you're known for uh i think the thing that i'm most 
I don't know if I'm known for it, but I, I know that it's quite unique for my brand is, is what I uh, talked about before about the custom made fabrics, okay. which is uh, I have a, a very good friend who went to fashion school with me. Uh, I became a bridal uh, designer and she became a textile designer. Oh, perfect. And uh, we worked together. And we always, before each season, we talk about like the inspirations and the materials and we create together like new fabrics. And uh, each season I, I uh, manufacture like fabrics that are actually, they, they don't exist in the market. They're specially made for myself. So it's like different kind of like uh, beading and uh, combination and of uh, beadwork or uh, uh, embellishments and I think the, the like material wise I'm very unique if I can uh, say about myself no it sounds it sounds it I mean, you know I'm trying to be like very innovative in uh, the textiles that I use that's that's so smart because I mean to the eye a white dress can get overwhelming and confusing and you have to stand out and it's a good way to stand out and to have your own fabrics. World, of course, there there are like uh, thousands of ways to make a dress, but eventually there are quite a few uh, silhouettes, like basic classic silhouettes, and uh, more room for creativity for me is in the fabric, in the textile. Got it. So this is. Uh, this is where most of my creativity goes. That's where goes you grow. To. So that's kind of like, I mean, is there a specific inspiration that you have this season when you come to market? Um, that yeah, you so, uh, so this uh, season, uh, the, I usually start from the fabrics again, from the materials. I found like a very nice um, like swatch of uh, raw pearls. And I really wanted to make a whole dress made of that. So this was kind of the first design of the, there's going to be like a very fit uh, dress made of like raw pearls in a, like going spiral. Uh, so I, I think it, it, it went out from that. And then I moved to like very uh, glam materials, kind of 20s again, inspiration, very like second skin looks. Uh, I know uh, white dresses are like very, very, very trendy at the moment, like uh, plain white. There are also going to be a few of those in the collection. But um, I think in general, it's mostly like 20s inspiration meeting 90s, kind of. This is uh, this is the main inspiration that. of this. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. And you're, you're, you photograph your collection. It's so important to have beautiful photography today coming from the designers. Um, and you have a very beautiful photographs. Um, do you, Thank you. Um, I, it makes a huge difference, I'm sure. I mean, it's important to touch and feel, I know, especially for the buyers, it's very important for them, but the inspiration yeah. that it goes out to the media um is is vital today in this digital world that we live in but where yeah. i mean do you shoot everything usually locally um you know can you give I spend, your approach uh, first of all uh it's very important to be to me to work with the same photographer each year there is a photographer that i i always work with his name is dodi hasson and he's very very talented and he's like doing the most amazing photo shoot not only bridal mostly fashion right because i think shoot like bridal as fashion is is the way that i see my my brand it's like it's it's the only most of the girls, it's their only hot couture moment in life. Right. So I don't want it to look too cheesy and uh, like too uh, romantic. I kind of want it to be like, like I created in my uh, thoughts and my dreams. This is how, how I want to shoot it. And I want it to like um, look very fashionable. This is my bride. My bride is very fashionable. Um, so I, uh, so this is why I shoot it like very editorial 
and not like traditional bridal. And I think it, uh, it, uh, it has the, like my aesthetics, this laid back feeling, uh, the kind of chic and easy going kind of, even though it's like very classic and rich, it, it's really going to that balance of laid back and like bridal eventually. It's great. You, you, ha you totally understand your brand. You know exactly what you want. Um, and it really shows in your presentation and in your gowns. Um, is there anything else you want to tell everybody? I mean, your dresses are available all over the United States or select stores. Our dresses uh, are now at the moment are presented in Loho Bride in LA, in Martin Grams uh, in uh, New York, in uh, New Jersey, Montclair, in uh, Dress Theory, in uh, three locations, Seattle, Nashville, and San Diego, and in uh, Jin Wang in San Francisco. These are the location at the moment. And uh, I am really looking forward to the next bridal week. Uh, to reach more areas and reach more brides and uh, extend. And uh, just very excited to meet all the buyers and meet everyone and uh, yeah, grow my company and reach more, more brides. Oh, so lovely chatting with you. And I want to thank you. And I look forward to seeing your collection in person. And Yay. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Thank you, everybody, and see you soon.